Well, we got security. <laughs> We got scanned. Oh. Look what people carry. Bicycles, tires. And we've made it to our luxurious cabin. Rumi enjoys it quite a bit. Andrea is ready for a nap, yeah. second nap. Now I'm ready for a shower. eagerly awaiting the departure. Hope that smoke means we're leaving soon. I can't believe it. So after waiting nearly 12 hours at the port, we're finally taking off. The boat was actually only delayed six hours, but they wanted you to get there early to check in and wait in line, all that good stuff. Devastated already. Relic of COVID past. Up on floor eight, get some makeshift rooms in the corners. Not much privacy, but it works. If you don't have a cabin, you get one of these Pullman seats. Long way to go. Chill out area. This doesn't look good. Lifeboats that we hopefully never have to use here. And this is what I believe to be the Disco Tech Club. It's kind of strange. Three forty for eggs and bacon. Three twenty for juice. Having a little room party here. Not as nice as the first day, but we're having fun. Rumi, what you're doing? It's to definitely be... a relaxed way to travel, though. You know. Wouldn't you rather travel like this or drive through Italy and Spain and France? Camping level professional, we got panini maker, or refrigerator. Now I know how people are making tea, they just use the kettle. Also power strip, another pro tip. After a four hour stop in Barcelona, we were all very happy to get going again at a whopping 30 kilometers an hour, all the way to Morocco. Hungry people at dinner, long lines. And high chairs, just if you're a boy, you might not like it so much. One thing that really surprised me on this GNV ferry was trying to go to sleep at night, babies kind of sleeping, and then we hear this music. I thought I was coming from one of the cabins, but I walk down the hallway and it just keeps getting louder, can't find the cabin. So I think it's coming from downstairs. We're gonna go check it out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna 
Much different than when you're trying to sleep in your room. <laughs> Any meals? Camping. Forbidden. Sad family area, still closed. The pro move definitely bring in six liters of water. So the boat is like 14 hours late to landing. They made an announcement and said there's free dinner at 7.30. I asked the guy at reception, like, is he gonna be busy? And he just laughed. It's about three minutes to 7.30. Let's go see what's going on. Already looks like a lot. It's not as many people as I thought at this time, but we got security. GNV gave us the free dinner. Thank you very much. Thank you for the dinner, GNV. She likes it too. Okay, Mucha Matcha. It's now 3.15 Tangier time. It's been about 60 hours on the boat, at least. And we've almost made it to Tangier. It's a lot of vans with stuff. Seems like the vans line up and the cars get to go. It's 5.55 our time and 4.55 .50, Moroccan time and we are leaving the boat. Woohoo! Only 60 hours! Six, 60 hours on the boat? At least. And we're in Moroccan land. You ready? First time. You ready, Ruby? You ready to enter Moroccan land? Boom! You're in Moroccan. That was the Serbian guy. That's our boat. I thought it was this way. It looked like it. Sitting in the car seat from Tangier to Agazut. Nine hours of driving, six 